When handing in a written assignment, your references can be handled in a very simple manner by using referencing software. I'm going to show you some examples of how easy and quick this can be. Say we need a reference here. Here. And some here. Note how consistent your references are, and also, let's say your professor says, well, this sentence sh should definitely be first. It can easily be changed, but your references with the numbers, they will be wrong. You can take care of this by just moving everything and clicking here. Let's say he complains again, it's the wrong kind of referencing system. Well, you can change that as well. This software is called show you how Web. You can use it is EndNote free with for all reports and essays. In the next few minutes, if you want to use EndNote Web at KTH, you must remember the following things. You must use Internet Explorer, and then you must go to this tab and click on it. Then you may sign up or sign in. First, you will have to import the references that you want to cite. Here's an example from Web of Science. Here it's very simple. Mark them and click Save to EndNote Web. These references will probably have appeared in our EndNote library. Let's go look. Here they are. Let's have a look at how to do it in Libris. This will also work for many other databases. Mark what you want. Go down to Site click on it and select the RIS format. If the RIS format is available, I would say it's the format to choose. Click Save to File. And then click Open and then Allow. Select EndNote Web and it's automatically imported into EndNote Web and this is because we have the EndNote Web plugin in Internet Explorer. It simplifies things. Some databases that don't have, for instance, the RIS format don't work that well with a plugin. For instance, PubMed. Let's look at how to do it here. Mark the articles that you want. Go to Send To. Select File. Select Medline. And then Create File. And then Save the file. To import the file we just saved, go to Collect. Import References. And then when you're here, if you go to the Import Options, there are a huge amount of options here. Instead, go to select favorites and once and for all make a short list of the ones you need. Select PubMed and also select Refman. This is the RIS format. Then select PubMed, find the file and then select where to import it, to which group, and import. To keep things organized in EndNote Web, it's a good idea to create groups. Select the articles that you want, and then go to Add to Group, New Group, Note that even if you put articles into a new group, they are still present in the old group. We can share a group like this. Go to Organize, Manage My Groups, and then click Share, where you want to share the group. Click Manage Sharing, start sharing this group, and fill in the email address of the person you want to share it with. This has to be the email address that they use as login for EndNote Web. If you need to install EndNote Web on your own computer, go to Format and then download the Site While You Write plugin. And if you need to write your own reference, go to Collect, New Reference. And here it's important to select the appropriate format, for instance for a web page, choose Web Page. 
and then fill in the information that you need in your reference. The help function in EndNote is rather good and it can be found up here. If you are working from a KTH computer, remember that in order to use EndNote Web you will have to have logged in into EndNote Web through the EndNote tab that is found in Internet Explorer otherwise you will not be able to work. While if you are working at home make sure that you have downloaded and installed the EndNote Web plugin. Now we are ready to start adding citations in Word. Write your work in the normal way and when you want to add a citation go to the EndNote Web tab. Go to Find Citations. As you can see we have to search for the articles that we want. The easiest way to handle this is by having EndNote Web open so that we can look at the articles in the group that we are interested in. Say we want to add this article, modeling the energy demands and so on. Take one of the more unique words in the article title and search for it. We found three articles. The one that we were actually interested in was this one by Martin I. Select it and click insert. Searching makes a lot of sense once you have a large list of articles, then sifting through a long list of articles becomes very annoying. There are hundreds of reference styles in EndNote, you probably just want a few. If you look up here you have lots of styles that you don't need. Let's look on how to change that. Go to EndNote Web, go to Format, Bibliography, then in Bibliographic Styles note that you have a really long list here don't want that so go to select favorites. Select a few good styles. I recommend author date and Harvard. Along with for instance nature and angevante chemie. Now look in the bibliographic style you should have a short list here. You'll probably have to restart Word for this new list to take effect. Let's do that. Let's start over. Now you have a short list of styles that you can choose from. Let's add a few more references. If you use a numbered format, the numbering will be correct automatically if you move your statements around. However, you might have to press Update Citations and Bibliography for this to happen. If you want to add specific page numbers, for instance when using an author date style, do it in the following way. Go to Edit Citations. Do not go here to pages but to suffix. Write, for instance, let's say it's this page number. It will appear in the citation but not in the reference list. One thing to watch out for is here under Convert Citations and Bibliography. Do not use Convert to Plain Text unless you have really made a backup copy of your work. Removing the citation will not take effect in the reference list until you press Update Citations and Bibliography or if you have Instant Formatting turned on. Let's recap the most important points of this presentation. Make sure that you can import your references into EndNote either through Direct Import in Web of Science, through the plugin automatic import in for instance Libris, Scopus and Inspec or that you can upload the file for instance from PubMed. Make sure that you can create groups, move references between them and that you can share groups and of course that you can use the Cite While You Write plugin to insert citations in Word. My EndNote Web can be found at the address at the bottom and do note that if you use it from home you will occasionally have to log in through the KTH library proxy server to use it. If you are having problems please ask at the KTH library, take an information searching course or visit our homepage for more information. Thank you.